Oh, thank you. Yeah, we know. You know, we, you, we know we stayed at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that fly yeah. shit we love. Right, right, right. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't really. Ella, I got to ask you that. LA is in mourning a little bit. I know you're in the hip hop community. Uh, how big of Nipsey fan? Nipsey Hustle fan were you? You know what's crazy? Um, I never really used to listen to his music until I met him. I met him. I met him about two years ago. I was walking. In, I was in Miami, and I'm going. I was going inside the club. Club live. And he was standing outside the club. I didn't know he was standing out there. I walk out the car. I heard somebody say, "Danny." I look back. It was Deshaun Jackson. He was the Sean Jackson, and then I went over there, I met him, and then he, he performed the club, he performed in the club, and after that, I downloaded his EP, and that's how I became a, that's how I became a fan of Nipsey Hussle. It's crazy, I mean, it's just crazy, man. He definitely had a classic album, Victory Lap. Uh, what's your favorite track? Do you have a favorite track? I like Hustle and Motivate, that's, that's my favorite. Yeah, that's my favorite, yeah. You talk about your other experiences fighting in Southern California. Oh yeah, definitely. I fought. I believe I fought in this arena when I was six, six and zero. Oh. This used to be the Home Depot Center. Mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I fought. Um, Ken from Delaware, your car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I fought. Um, I fought Kendall Hall at the Staples Center. I beat Robert Guerrero in um, the Staples Center for the World 20 title in 2016. So LA's always been good to me. This is a great atmosphere. I love it here, and that's why I chose to fight here. What was the last time you fought at stuff up? Like ten years, right, or a little yeah, less? something like that. I remember yeah. I was six and zero. So I think your dad back. told me a story that Aguero watched your fight the last time. You yeah, fought, yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah. That, that was the story for sure. It's crazy. If you, didn't, if you can get a win in this fight, who would you like to fight then? No, whoever, whoever, whoever. I'm not gonna underestimate it, but he's 20 and six. He got six losses. We got two suspects. <laughs> so to me, Danny, 36 and 0. We got two suspects thanks to New York, the commission. We love New York. We love the Barclay, but we don't like the commissioners. <laughs> <laughs> so who would it be? Now, whoever, man. At the end of the day, I gotta focus on Saturday night. To be honest with you, that's like my main focus right now. Saturday night is getting this victory. And then um, after that, then we could just move back, back, hey, to, back to the drawing board, whoever. You, you definitely can't overlook, again, a guy like Granado's, not you, but I'm yeah, saying yeah. the question. Is that because, you know, Granado's, he's the real deal. He coming, he, he coming to try to take food off of Danny's plate. And Danny know what he up against. What kind of fight do you expect Granado's to bring? You know, like I said before, it's, it's a, um, a lot at stake, so I know that he's ready. But uh, I train hard, man. I think I'm in the best shape of my life. And I, I can't wait to show it Saturday night.